Hello people with the spirit of learning I am welcoming you back into my youtube channel My name is Angga Rizky And in this video we're gonna try to make this user interface design animation With the sketch and then with the flintel So basically this is the design that I have been converting into the android application with the android studio And if you wanna see how do I do that You can follow up my new video here I got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so you better follow all of them, and then you're gonna see how do you convert the design into the Kotlin and then XML. Okay, so let's go ahead with this user interface design animation. I got the sample design here, and this is the Flinto that I'm using it for the user interface animation. So over here that I use. Uh, the the artboard is four one two and then for the he is like this okay so we're gonna import the design from the sketch directly and import it into this of lintel okay let's check it first okay so we got one two three four five six seven components over here that we're gonna make an animation to make it more beautiful and fancy for the users so first of all i'm going to save this document to make it more uh, safe for us so i'm going to save it uh, maybe just uh, ui animation uh, success okay so basically the thing that i do here there's a lot of variant of this kind of animation so there are uh, fade in, fade out, scale, and then translation, and then many more. So let's start with this text view. I called it a text view because in Android, we call it a text view, okay? So I'm going to put up here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So later on, I will move it back into the origin uh, translation so right now I'm going to behavior here and then make another stats and move it one two three four five okay so after that you can save it and you're gonna see whenever you preview it's gonna be moving but it is not because we haven't setting up the timer and then for the hyperlink okay but before we do that here i'm going to setting this opacity into the zero and we select this kind of group and just edit the behavior right so in the new state here which is state number two we would like to uh, give this opacity back to this origin and there is the timing of this animation so mainly i'm using the classic one and i able to set it maybe just for 300 500 sorry 350 and you see that like this wow okay so from this initial you click there is the timer link and i will put it just a zero millisecond into the new state okay you see that wow pretty cool right but i think it just too fast so we better make it longer maybe 600 okay it's pretty nice okay so right now this is what i called it a fade in and then fade out with this opacity and for this picture or i call it this illustration i would like to make it scalable so the thing that we have to do right now to make it smaller but keep in mind the the origin size is a 25 a 25 okay so right now just make it smaller okay just like that and put on the middle okay i will put over here okay and then we we're gonna make it gun okay so after that we have to setting in new behavior 
so do you remember the size is so the size sorry before we do that i got a mistake here so we remove the behavior and we group it first and then we setting the behavior because otherwise we couldn't select a group here right so here we give the 100 and then 205 okay put it on the middle so from this initial we're heading back into this new stat and this is supposed to be a 650 with the delay so the delay is 500 you see that wow it's pretty nice right but i think that i'm going to move it a little bit up because you see the distance between of the text view so i think i will put the top one two three four five we'll see again okay that's too much one two okay give it one more wow pretty nice right so this is how do we make the animation scalable i mean from the scale zero into the scale one okay nice right users are gonna like it so for the next couple columns here we got three columns that we want to use the translate like we did in the text view here okay so we select all of them and then move bottom one two three four five that's enough and we're setting up this opacity into the zero and then we group them once we group we just setting the behavior right so in the next new stat we move back into the one two three four five and setting up the opacity back to this origin and we give the duration about maybe just little bit shorter so maybe just 400 okay but its column has different delay the reason why because i just want to make it like waterfall so it's gonna be one by one okay so here i'm going to set up the delay about a 700 and this is supposed to be a 900 so the distance only 200 millisecond okay so we're going back into the in initial and then we're setting to the zero millisecond okay let's try wow nice right wow amazing so for the latest one is the button right so for this button i'm going to make it simple just uh, put button one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I think just nine and then opacity zero and group it and make it a behavior so we setting up the new step one two three four five six seven eight nine that's enough and we give the duration just 300 but the delay is about one three oh okay and go back into the initial to give the timer link the target is new start okay we're gonna save it and we're gonna preview all along wow pretty nice right so if you wanna record this animation just press this button and back into home and it's going to be recorded so you're gonna send this video or GIF into your developer to to let them know how this application working with this animation okay so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video because in the next video we're gonna try to implement this in animation into this android with the xml and then kotlin okay so goodbye for now don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video goodbye